Where are we at as a state in terms of drought right now? Right now, we're looking at about a little over 71% of the state is in severe drought. So things are getting serious. What are some of the things we might start seeing if this continues? What we're seeing right now is corn, for example, is only 42% of it is rated at good to excellent. I think last year it was around this time, it was around 80%. So it kind of gives you an idea of the stress that some of our crops are, are undergoing right now. What is it that brings a drought period on like this? So Minnesota is really influenced by two tracks of low pressure systems that move in from the West. One is from Alberta, and then there's the Colorado lows, and they move in from the southwest to the northeast. And when either one of those gets diverted away from the state, part of the state becomes deficient in precipitation. What we're seeing right now is both of them are kind of being deflected north and south of Minnesota. And it's unpredictable. They just happen randomly. We fall into these drought situations every few years. Drought is a naturally occurring part of Minnesota's climate. What we're seeing right now is, is, is an abnormal version of that. Whenever we enter a drought situation like this, there's things that everyday Minnesotans can do just to help conserve water. Easy things like taking shorter showers, not running the water while you're brushing your teeth or you're shaving, limiting the amount of water that you use, cutting out lawn watering practices completely for a while. It goes a long way to helping conserve water. Well, Minnesota's drought is leading to a residential water shortage in some parts of our state, so you really need to check the restrictions in your city so you don't get fined for using water on the wrong day. And if you have a well, we know, we've heard that there's another set of problems with that, and the Department of Natural Resources says it's getting calls for help from homeowners in the northwestern part of our state because their wells are running dry.